everybody? My name is Mike Toledo, and uh, we have a special guest here from uh, Dording.com. It's Ricky Bain. He's the founder of Dording.com. If you haven't heard about Dording.com, it's a gigantic forum with lots of good information about paintless dent repair. It's not just about paintless dent repair. It's about a lot of other things, and that's why we invited um, excuse me, Ricky Bain here on Dording.com to explain more about uh, his forum, and it's uh, a really, really good one. So. Thanks a lot, Ricky, for uh, coming on. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks a lot. I know you put a lot of uh, work into this big forum, and I would like uh, to invite you here, and that's why I did want to share your information to other people out there that I have connections with, and I think a lot of people need to know about it. So can you uh, give us some more info on that? Well, thank you, Mike, for having me. Um, yeah, DoorDing.com is just a forum that I started back in 2003. Um, mostly to associate with the other guys that doing what I do. We started off very slow, you know, very small, and you know, I just enjoyed it. And we just started growing and growing and growing. And now we're too big for. Our- hey, when did, when did you start it, Ricky? In, in January of two thousand and three. Holy crap! And I think uh, I I don't remember, but I think I joined anywhere between oh three and oh four, somewhere around there. Probably. I've been I've been a long time member on there and um, me personally right off the bat if you guys haven't been on there's so much good information my biggest advice is that if um, if you want to continue to learn in this trade which is you always are learning you never stop learning this is a great great place to stop by at first and check out even before you even get into the market uh, wouldn't you agree Rick, Ricky we have a lot of good guys that know a whole lot about Paint with dent removal and other and paint and touch up and interiors, but mostly paint paint with dent removal. We have a lot of good guys that are very willing to share their information. And, you know, they they don't, they just don't mind helping other people. No, yeah, and that's uh, that's what makes it uh, definitely unique. And I, I kind of wanted to uh, you know bring up something like that. A lot of people are going to Facebook and talking, you know, doing a lot of uh, you know quick chats, but um, there is a, a kind of a, a pitfall compared to that. And I would say Dorning.com. I have my own opinion, but I, I'm, let me give you a chance to you explain your own. So, what do you think is the biggest benefit between between the both? Well, you know, the the, the Facebook stuff and and uh, all that stuff. I'm not very up on. It just seems to me like that's more of an instant gratification kind of thing. If somebody wants to know something really quick, you know, Facebook's on everybody's phone and all that stuff. They can probably get an answer faster. If they want to look something up. It's useless, as far as I know. Uh, forums like mine, I I will always consider them superior in the uh, fact that they can be archived, organized, and uh, all that. So if somebody wants to, you know, look something up or read about past stuff, you know, it's kind of organized. Whereas Facebook's just one thing right after another. It could be about you know, it could be one joke and then PDR and then, you know, talk about a customer, you know, all on the same page. And then yeah. after two weeks, it's all gone. No, I, I, I was just thinking about that, too, as well. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you go on Dorting.com and it's, speci- it's specifically for mainly PDR, but there is uh, just auto reconditioning. And that, and it's like you mentioned, it's categorized so you can find things a lot quicker and a lot easier, specifically about what you're looking for, regards if it's training or advanced dent repair, things like that as well. Correct? Yeah, yeah. The uh, the way I look at it is the is the the uh, the uh, things like Facebook are are more for uh, I don't know how to explain. Facebook to me is more for me. Whereas a forum like us, like ours, is for everyone. Is it like it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's why one of the reasons why I liked it as well. I mean, a lot of people think that um, you know, I was on there always giving information. That's not the tr- that's not the case. There was a lot of people on there beyond what I did. That I mean, I there, I can just name a few people or off the top of my head that constantly give information, and. Uh, you know, I learned from them. Uh, I just wanted to say there's a lot of things that I learned on there. And, you know, one thing I can say about paintless dent repair, Ricky, is that 
it's not just one way to do dance. It's not just, you know, using a certain light. It's not just using, you know, one, everyone's kind of saying, hey, this isn't for you, that you shouldn't do it like that. It's kind of like everybody gets to feed off each other and create their own technique. What do you think? Correct. I think so too. I, uh, there's definitely more, more than one way to skin the cat. Some guys on there think their way is the only way. Um, you know, I believe as long as we all get the same end result, it don't much matter how you get there. Well, that's what makes it fun, though. I mean, that's, that's what it's about, you know. Not The forums aren't about always agreement. It's about to share their thoughts and kind of, you know, get into little debates and then, you know, kind of just dig deeper and really get that knowledge. You know, and sometimes that's what it takes. So sure. I definitely I definitely enjoy that part of the forum. So um, yeah. let's, you know, Ricky, what do you think about, you know, what you what do you, what do you think you're going to get out of this forum? What's your expectations? I mean, where do you think it's going to go? I don't know. You know what? If it if it closed tomorrow, it's been a good ride. You know, I hope it sticks around as long as, as it, the forum is what the members the, the members dictate what the forum is. Yeah. Uh, as long as they want to help each other or ask questions, then it's going to just stay there. Yeah. You know, I, I hope I hope it lasts a long time. But you know, if it don't, it's been a good ride. I don't think so. You guys are how many? How many members you got going on right now? Over fifty one hundred members from all over the world. Jeez, fifty one hundred. Do you? And I know you probably have some. Obviously, you know where most of your, um, you know, your people are coming from. Is it the United States, or are you getting more from the, you know, outside the United States? Uh, is Russia growing? I see that a little bit on my own yeah. stats. Yes, we have a, uh, we have a. Uh, me- most of our members are, of course, from the United States. Uh, the second one is from the Great Britain. Um, and a lot of there are a lot of guys from Lithuania, Russia, Czechoslovakia. I don't know how many countries the members are from, but it's a lot of them. It, and from my experience, those guys are pretty. Good. They're pretty good. I've seen some of them. Yes, they are. Uh, I mean, they, beyond they, good. They, I mean, I'm, and you know, it was it was kind of. I had to. I saw a YouTube video on one guys. Um, I can't remember the top of my head, but I had to say, hey. You know, great job, man. That was a great repair. So yes, that's the great thing. Another thing about DoorDing.com is that you're bringing the whole world of PDR together. And that's in one place. You know, that that's you can't get that. I can't get that on Facebook. I Don't get me wrong, Ricky. I, I participate in these other little groups that there is. But there is um, a quick, it's just a quick thing to release one thought or so. It's not something that, you know, it's meant to be like a form, you know, where people can get in kind of just by themselves outside the world, you know. So, no, uh, room for both of them. go ahead, Ricky. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt you. There's room for both of them. I, I know I like instant gratification sometimes, but I usually just pick up my phone and call somebody. <laughs> Yeah, I want to talk about some of the parts in your in your uh, forum. Yeah, you, know, you have a you know once they join, they have a free part in your area where they can check out, and then they have a pay per view section. Right. Kind of explain what what you think is the value of that. What do you think? What, why do you have two sections like that? Well, we originally was totally free. Uh, the first couple of years that door didn't exist, it I paid for everything out of my pocket. I wouldn't take donations or anything. Now we're so big. I mean, we we use between thirty and fifty gigabytes a month in bandwidth. Uh, you know, we got thousands and thousands of pictures. It costs quite a bit, uh, not just money, but time. And thankfully, I got some moderators and admins to help us out. So I never was big on the pay per view. Uh, I've always said Dordane was always going to be free, which it is. But there is one section that is pay per view for PDR. And that's because the members asked for it. Uh, they didn't want the trick, their tips and tricks and stuff like that to be available for just everyone. They wanted to, you know, keep it more as a small group where they can share ideas and, and uh, tips and tricks and stuff with each other. Yeah. So they, yeah. they figured out that, you know, that was the best way to do it for people to pay. Uh, like I said, I never was big on the idea, but. You know, it does pay the bills. That, you know what? That makes perfect sense. And uh, now that, you know, I never even knew that, the whole story behind it. Um, and I think that makes perfect sense. Uh, it really does. Uh, keeps the looky lose out. And um, besides, you know, that information is worth a lot. I think it's worth more than what, what uh, you're ac- actually asking. So, 
Um, and how much is it, anyways, Ricky? What's the uh, what's the cost in the pay per view uh, section? It's seventy five dollars for a year, or forty five dollars for six months. Gotcha. And I've been in there. I'm a member. Uh, I I did my pay per view, and uh, I definitely think it's worth it, you guys. Um, especially if you're looking for to dramatically help your learning curve or do things right. There's a lot of different techniques in those sections. And I think it's definitely worth checking out. I mean, you can't go wrong. And seventy five dollars, forty five dollars if you want to go that way, you know, and just check it out. And I don't think you can go wrong. I mean, Ricky, I think that's obviously a very affordable, if not cheap price. Well the uh, even if they don't participate in the discussions, there's a forum for tech articles, uh that have been written by, you know, the guys that are pretty tops in the industry, describing different scenarios and different ways to do stuff. And, and uh, then there's Spotlight Dents, which I personally enjoy. Spotlight Dent section is the one that I enjoy the most, which most people take a larger dent and they walk you through step by step of how they actually did the repair. And a lot of pictures and, you know, a lot of wording and, and I just enjoy it. Let's just talk about a little bit about M MTE because I know you participate in MTE every year, Ricky. Now, can you just kind of, you know, maybe give some insight about, uh, you know, your relationship with the uh, MTE Mobile Tech Expo? That's what it stands for. We don't have an official relationship. I just enjoy going and meeting the guys that I've talked to every day on the website. That's the biggest kick I get out of it. Uh, you know, of course, I like looking at the new tools and, you know, and. Uh, watching the Den Olympics and stuff like that and helping the NAPDR crew along and you know, stuff like that. But big, biggest enjoyment I get out of is actually getting to talk, see and talk to everybody face to face once a year. Yeah. I just wanted to kind of go over there a little bit for MTE. I think that, um, you know, you help, you do a great job promoting it as well. And I know Kevin does, has a, has a publishing magazine, but we'll, we'll get on that later when I get a hold of him. So, um, what I, what I think of, what I think, you know, DoorDing.com brings to the table, if anyone's watching or cares to watch this, I'm sure you guys will, is that uh, one, you'll learn about the, the trade, I, I believe, and a lot. And even if you want to check out your market, I think that's that's really important. And, and DoorDing.com helps you a lot. It either stabilize your, yourself in the PDR industry or saves you from getting into the PDR industry. So, I mean, and I know some guys are kind of up front, Ricky, when you think that uh, they're a little... A little forward sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but they're doing it in a way not not to not to be. I mean, let me let me rephrase that. They do it because they're they they really care about the industry and they're 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 going to jump on some people after they heard it about five hundred times already. Most of the, most of the time, when new guys get on there and ask questions, I would say most of the time it depends on how they ask it. If if they if they approach the subject saying you know I have all the respect for you guys stuff like that then they're usually treated pretty good but if they kind of uh, ask a question saying hey you know any monkey with a stick can fix the dent then they're they yeah. oh yeah jump. yeah all right Ricky another thing that you're mentioning is something about uh, when people join your forum and you have excess funds uh, from the pay per view and um, what were you what were you planning to do with that well the uh, you know, for a few years, I didn't collect any money. I, I refused all donations and all that stuff. Paid for the side out of my pocket. Uh, the uh, but now since the pay per view has started, we got so big that it's hard to you know it's hard to do that out of your own pocket every month. So now that with the pay per view and the advertising, then we do have an income. Uh, no one on our site, you know, on our staff gets paid, including me. Uh, what we do if there's an excess of money is we usually have a giveaway. Uh, I used to have a giveaway every month, whether there was an excess, you know, of, of money or not. But now it's just, you know, when we have a little extra, we'll, we'll get a gift certificate from a tool company or, or you know, buy a tool or a set of hand tools or whatever and give them away to the pay-per-view members, have a drawing. Um, and, so, and sometimes the uh, actual tool companies call me up and say, hey, you know, I have a tool that, you know, if you want to do a giveaway, I'll, I'll donate a, you know, slide hammer or rod or whatever and, and we give that away so they've been very good on that too good it, you know what i feel guilty i haven't uh in, i haven't uh, participated in that that giveaway yet but uh well, well uh, anybody that's a pay-per-view member is eligible we have a drawing from all the pay-per-view members 
when we have a giveaway. Yeah, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to put my own little product in there for you guys, so uh, we can give it away. Okay. You know, I know you guys don't like. I know you. <laughs> I know you guys love line boards out there, so you know. <laughs> so. There's some guys that do. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Um, do. Yeah. Actually, I see. Uh, I see quite a few guys on there, and uh, some very well uh, experienced guys on there doing that stuff. And some of the uh, the repairs are just beyond amazing. So, I totally agree. I think. That's one of the better um, sections in that in that uh, pay per view. Uh, the other thing is is probably sharing some videos too. I actually saw that since the last time I've been on there, uh, you added that. Uh, can you give me an idea why you ended up adding the videos? Is because of new new things going on now? <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, I had some of the members ask if they if we could have a, a section, you know, just for the videos. And uh, you know, we have the YouTube markup on the on the when you make a post where you can actually insert a video. So that form there is specifically, specifically for the users to share their videos, you know, their repair videos that they make. Well, I think it's I think it's easy to navigate around that site. Um, if you ask me, um, you can find everything. You can do a search, um, and I would say probably about ninety five percent of the people are overly friendly, very 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 welcomed, uh, and the rest are just going to tell you how it is, regardless. So I mean, and that's that's what I like, you know, that's what it is. That so. no matter where you go well ricky i, I think that concludes uh you know our interview i appreciate you uh, coming on i really do i know you're busy um like i mentioned before you're full of uh hail out there i know it's one of the busiest hail seasons out there i got somebody else talking about that topic too down the line but um you know again i do appreciate you taking the time and you know speaking with us about dorting.com and i wish you the best of success uh continued from here on and I, i'm sure it'll continue for a long long time thank you thanks ricky Thank you.